Uh, metals are they're they're going to do well on their own. I think the COMEX fairly soon is going to have to let silver go, and since every uh, central bank entity in the world is talking about digital currencies. Um, they're going to rush into it. Do you think this election speeds it at all? I do. I do. Yeah, after after last night, I think we all have a lot more to discuss. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, we have a few more words I'm to go. I have to uh, make sure I'm careful about what well, I say. You know, no, people do not want you to be only, careful about what you say. My only comment about the about the, the future of America is mostly you know, in, in my wife and I have been married 51 years, and, you know, we're on the other side of life. And we obviously are always worried about our children and our grandchildren and what kind of a life we're going to be leaving for them. And, and this country is in deep, deep trouble, and everybody's acting like it's not, and I, I just don't know how they cannot see it. Tim, do you think we're in trouble as a nation now? Um. I think more so than I thought yesterday. Yes. Yes. I agree. And if the red wave turned into a trickle, if that. It turned into an apocalypse. The reason why I buy from SD Bullion is because they're the top of the line. Service is unbelievable. The prices can't be beat. I uh, love doing business with them. They have the best prices. I trust them. They're extremely easy to purchase through. They have great prices and great products. Uh, integrity and fast shipping. Just a quality organization. A good friend of mine, Yankee Stacking, is the reason why I shop there. power that are conservatives, they better quit screwing around and start thinking about their country before they start thinking about their own pockets. No, I'm, I'm just I'm very concerned about the finances. And, you know, we've discussed this before. There's entirely too much money, trillions to be exact, invested in thin air. Mm -hmm. And um, that is going to wear on the value of the dollar. And since every uh, central bank entity in the world is talking about digital currencies, um, they're going to rush into it. I think Europe is going to rush into a digital currency. They're going to get some compatibility out of the Fed. But uh, the mistake they're making is they're isolating China and Russia. And China and Russia have um, a, a, a place of importance in the Middle East and in Africa, and in South America. Do you think this election speeds it at all? I do. I do. I, th I think it's, unfortunately, we don't have enough people who are thinking representatives. We have uh, people who uh, let their emotions take over. And um, if the this president continues to um, call um, out re Republicans as if they're a threat to democracy, mm -hmm. um, Things are going to go very bad in the next couple of years, very badly. And I, you know, I just, I don't see anybody who's, uh, you know, coming in on a white horse to, to save uh, the government. The government is is rotten. From and what do you inside. think of what Ron DeSantis did down in Florida? I think it's great, but you know, there there is way too much attention uh, given to Ron DeSantis. Um, if everybody paid more attention to um, the close races that didn't go the right way, um, instead of uh, patting Ron DeSantis, I mean that was a, that was going to be a blowout anyway, because DeSantis is is a rare governor. Mm -hmm. He does everything right. Uh, he's got great moral values, and um, mm -hmm. and he knows how to how to run a company, and you know every state is a company. Um, we don't see that very often, and, and I, you know, I think they wasted way, way too much time patting the Republicans on the back for what happened in Florida. Um, they, they should be very concerned about what's happened in even places like New Hampshire. Very oh, yeah. concerned. Absolutely, very disappointing. I think Tim, I think you're exactly right, and I also think that some of these uh, states where the close races were, such as. Arizona and Nevada and uh, even Kansas.
Kansas and so forth, you know, people just kind of poo-poo the smaller states or the less popular states or what have you. But when it comes to the Senate, they have just as much of a vote as anybody else. And and let's not forget the governor's important role in in uh, on a federal basis. Uh, and it, it's just a shame that that people are not at least spending a little bit of time to truly educate themselves, not just for the, the national uh, uh, races, but even for your local races, your your city councilmen and your mayors and uh, your city attorneys and so forth. They really do matter. On a, on a local basis, we actually did pretty well here in New Hampshire, but uh, I'm very concerned that the Republican Party doesn't care about the state. We had... Um, the opposition, one senator and one rep, had lots of uh, television advertising out there, and it was all lies, and the Republican Party did nothing to counter the lies. At the risk of kicking off YouTube, I want your opinion on the shenanigans. Well, it's, uh, no state, is, uh, Pennsylvania especially, doesn't have a handle on these mail-in ballots. And, you know, these, oh, well, we compared the signatures and we, we compared the dates and made sure everything was, yeah. But where are the ballots coming from? I mean, did you, is everybody who got a ballot a legally registered voter in, in that jurisdiction? I mean, they've never, never called the rolls of uh, the voting rolls. They don't even do it in this state because they're getting too big. In Arizona? They're messed up. I cannot believe. They are, I can't believe they had you know a failure in these voting machines. I mean, they call Republicans the threat to democracy. Um, how about voting machines that don't work on election day? I mean, did anybody test these machines? Did anybody look into the programming? I, I guess you got a split right now, right? So I don't get any any purchases in. Right. Oh, nope, oh, nope, oh, he's closing the he's closing the vault. That means Yankee has to go. Uh, I'll be back, Tim, I promise. I, I, I have some unfinished business to do with you. <laughs> Don't we all. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate the conversation. Uh, should we be, should we be encouraged? Leave me with one statement of encouragement. Please. I need um, it. <laughs> let me put it this way. And, um, I hope this doesn't deter uh, Caroline Levitt. Hmm. She's going to be a star, hopefully in the Congress. I hope she doesn't give up. I'm actually surprised at the quality of some of the people Republican Party put up. Uh, they didn't get enough help, um, but uh, hopefully they'll they'll learn the lesson. Can we survive two more years like this? Uh, as long as we have a solid majority in the Congress, yes. We don't know that yet. We don't know it yet. Yeah. Well, I. All right. That's that's not the. It's that's not, not going to be looking. much of a majority. That's the so problem. Right. <laughs> but the medals are doing well, right? They're going uh, up. The uh, medals are they're they're going to do well on their own. I think the Comex fairly soon is going to have to let silver go. Um, yeah, they'll they'll probably have to change the rules to let that happen. But it it's it needs to happen. All right. Fine. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you.